Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your source for Second Amendment news. Got something here that uh, I haven't heard of until I found this accidentally. And uh, this is such a blatant disregard for our Bill of Rights. Excuse the color change on my face. I just lost some light between uh, some clouds or whatever. Uh, but such a blatant disregard of our rights that I thought I would come out and bring it to the masses. Because if you don't live in Oregon, you probably don't know this is happening. But I see this taking control of the country, well, the liberal side of the country, uh, like a wildfire. Uh, expect to see this in more states soon. This is Oregon's, um, it's called IP, it's an initiative petition, IP43, and they're trying to get 500,000 signatures before June 27th in order to put this on a future ballot. Now, that might not sound like anything to those who aren't in Oregon, but this is huge news please share this with anybody you can to make everybody in oregon aware of this but this is some bad stuff this is looking to a change the definition of assault weapon you know that made up term by politicians and it includes almost everything this initiative needs 88,000 signatures before July in order to be put on a pre, uh, an upcoming petition or an upcoming ballot for a vote is more more accurate uh, and this is very dangerous. 88,000 liberals, not very tough to get, especially if you're in a liberal area anyway, you just bust in some people from other areas or even Mexico, right? And just have them vote. <laughs> Did I say that out loud? Now, like usual, if you're a member of this channel, you know I typically have every bill or whatever uh, in the description so that you can click on it and read it for yourself. And that's no different here. I will have a copy of this petition, initiative or initiative petition, uh, so that you can look at this because I am not making this stuff up. It's that crazy that you're gonna be like nah nope but yeah this is pretty rough um some of the excerpts that i want to just tell you about as maybe you look at the screen as you pop it up in another window um this is going to ban just about everything and here's how this initiative states that uh any rifle any rifle capable of accepting a magazine and one of the other cosmetic features listed uh would be termed an assault weapon and you know, it's most of the stuff that every semi-automatic rifle has, such as a pistol grip, uh, you know, uh, some have threaded barrels, uh, some of them have telesco telescoping stocks, etc. Uh, uh, or, you know, forward pistol grip, uh, all that stuff would make that gun illegal. You know, unless you register these guns with the government. This is, they're trying to get everybody who wants to keep their stuff to register it. And if you don't want to register it, you have to transfer it out of state. But I'll tell you that in a second. So this is going to get rid of basically any rifle that has the capability of accepting a magazine and or having, you know, pistol grip, etc. Also, if the rifle is less than 30 inches in length, meh, illegal. That's an assault weapon. Uh, any pistol, this is the dangerous part, any pistol capable of accepting a magazine that has more than 10 rounds, which is every pistol on the planet that takes a detachable magazine. Not that it came with, or you possess at the time, a magazine with more than 10 rounds in it, but the capability of doing so. And with all of the, you know, aftermarket manufacturers of magazines, if, you know, if your gun, no matter what it is, has a magazine somewhere in the world that's made, whether you have it or not, and it's capable of possessing, you know, you know of loading 11 rounds, you are in possession of an assault weapon in Oregon if this passes. <sighs> can't make this stuff up they're so blatant but so many people don't know their rights they don't know they don't care you know it doesn't affect them now it goes on to uh, say that any magazine that holds more than 10 rounds is a high capacity magazine not standard magazine and those are going to be banned as well if this passes almost has uh, the similar wording of uh, HR was a 5087 which was uh, uh, Ciccolini's uh, bill that's looking to make all this stuff illegal as well on the national level. It would also ban most semi-automatic shotguns. If you have a tube that holds 10 rounds or more, or cap capability of doing that, or if it has anything other than a fixed stock. Now that fixed stock can't have a thumb hole, and you can't have a pistol grip because that would be banned because that's an assault weapon now. And if it has a folding stock or a telescoping stock, a telescope, telescopic, I can't talk today, a telescoping stock, uh, that's an assault weapon too. Even if it only holds four rounds of 12 gauge, but you have a pistol grip, that's an assault weapon. Now the part of what they are trying to force the, the underlings to do, okay? You would have 100, if this passes, 
gets on the ballot and passes a vote. Uh, this would have 100, you would have 120 days to transfer your guns out of state or turn them over to the police or register them, register them with the government so they would know who has what in case they one day wanted to come grab them with, say, the red flag bills and red flag laws or the extreme risk protection orders that are jumping up all around the country that you learned of first here on this channel months before any state voted them in. And everybody thought I was crazy. <laughs> Don't be surprised if you see this coming to a state near you as well. Now, you don't want to register your guns and you need to keep them anyway, but you are now a felon if this should pass in the state of Oregon. But the, before this pa if it does pass, before the passing of this, you're 100% legal, you're doing everything correctly, and they're going to pass this overnight to make you a felon. This is crazy stuff that is an, an outright blatant violation to the Constitution in not just the Second Amendment, but several amendments. I am going to also put another link in the description that will have information on folks in the House and Senate of Oregon so you can light these sons of bitches up with phone calls and emails and snail mail and go visit them because an informed base who knows that they're about to get porked tends to sway the uh, the politicians who are just going with the flow and you know whatever the wind wherever way the wind blows that's the way they go oh I like this bill no no I, I like this bill the more you stay on them <laughs> the more you hold them to a little bit of accountability just a smidge it's crazy guys and gals what's happening but you're learning it here first and please share it like wildfire like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribe please I want to get these numbers up we're at almost 50,000. I want to get to 100,000 because that platform tells YouTube, hey, we're legit and we're a force to be reckoned with until they shut us off. So until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry a weapon, and spread this word like wildfire. Take care, everybody.